Welcome back to your SIU Medicine Minute. Today I am joined by Dr. Anwar Shafi of the Department of Pediatrics for Pulmonology and Sleep Medicine. Dr. Shafi, thank you so much for joining us today. We greatly appreciate it. Thank you for having me. So today we want to discuss pediatric sleep apnea. So I'll start off by asking you, what is sleep apnea within children? So sleep apnea is a sleep disorder uh, in which there is uh, pauses in breathing or intermittent shallow breathing, which causes disruption in sleep. Um, it's of main, uh, mainly two types, central and obstructive. Um, we, obstructive sleep apnea is the more commoner one. And as the name implies, it is uh, obstruction of your airway in the neck area. And what it causes is it causes either complete or partial collapse of the airway, which interrupts breathing and uh, causes multiple awakenings, disrupting your sleep. It also causes oxygen desaturation in, in your blood because of the obstruction. So when does someone say maybe a parent suspect their child has sleep apnea? So uh, sleep apnea is brought to attention by snoring, uh, but we look at other symptoms. Uh, those symptoms include restless sleep, uh, gasping or choking during uh, sleep, uh, sweating, uh, mouth breathing, sleeping in abnormal positions, and also uh, difficulty waking up in the morning. Uh, depending on the age, you can have uh, a child who's very hyperactive or uh, children who are older can be excessively sleepy or tired in the day. So Dr. Shafi, how do you go about diagnosing a child with sleep apnea? So the diagnosis uh, basically is done by doing a sleep study, which uh, characterizes the sleep apnea presence or absence or severity of it. And then lastly, what type of treatment is there for sleep apnea within children? So sleep apnea in children is uh, commonly due to big tonsils and adenoids, and that is the number one recommended treatment to remove them. Uh, if that is not an option, then uh, children are treated with a CPAP. And then as far as maybe parents go that are concerned their child might have sleep apnea, where would they go to find more information? Uh, they can visit our website at siumed.org. Dr. Andrew Shafi, Department of Pediatrics for Pulmonology and Sleep Medicine, thank you so much for joining us. And thank you for watching today's SIU Medicine Minute.